Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to solve problem number 1601, maximum number of achievable transfer requests. First, we will see the explanation of the problem statement in the logic on the code. Now let's dive into the solution. So in this problem, we have a request input. So these are the requests from the employees who wants to transfer from one building to another building, right? So here, one of the employees want to transfer from building 0 to building 1 and so on. And we have another input, which is n. This represents the total number of buildings we have, right? So we will be having 0 to n minus 1 buildings. So assume we have two buildings here, building 1 and building 2. And these two buildings are balanced with the employees, which is 0, right? Now assume if one employee transfers from building 1 to building 2. So here it will be negative 1 since one employee left. And here we will add 1 since one employee moved to building 2. So in this problem, this transfer is not considered as a balanced transfer. Right? Here it is not balanced between two buildings. Right? In the building 1, we have negative 1 which means we need to balance by sending one employee from building 2 to building 1 to balance this negative 1. So now it becomes 0. So here if I take difference of 1, it is going to be 0. Now there is a balance between two buildings. So this particular concept should be maintained when we transfer employees based on the request given. So we need to find maximum number of requests can be achieved. So here we have six requests. Out of the six requests, how many requests can be achieved? Right? That's the goal of the problem. So now we will see how we are going to do this. So initially we will be having a k variable where it will represent the maximum transfer that can be achieved in this given input. So here we have six requests. So maximum achievable request or 6. So we will be writing this k in a for loop. So we are going to keep decreasing these requests to get our maximum achievable request, right? So initially we are assuming the maximum request that can be my answer, right? So within this for loop, we are going to create a list that is ranging from 0 to total number of requests that is given. So here we have 6 requests. So we are going to create a list of values from 0 to 6. We won't include 6 here, right? So after creating this list, we need to find different combination of elements which will contain 6 values. That is the k values, right? So here we have only one combination that will be having 6 values. That will be our list itself, right? So for this k, this is fine. After that, we will be creating a degree list which will be having zeros based on the number of buildings. So we are going to keep track of the number of employees leaving and coming into the buildings, right? So these zeros are representing the buildings, right? So initially it is balanced. So now we pick the first request right that is zero that will be our i so we need to go to the first request that is zeroth index request we need to first pick the first building that is zero so we need to update the zeroth index in my degree that one person is leaving from zero right so we need to subtract one here so now there is an employee coming from 0 to 1, right? There is an employee coming to the building 1. So we need to update the building 1 by adding 1. Then we pick the next request, that is 1, right? So i will be 1 now. So we need to go to the first index request. So here the index are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So here an employee is going from 1 to 0, right? So in the index 1, we need to reduce 1, this becomes 0. And in the 0th index, there is an employee coming in, right? So we need to add 1, this is also going to be 0. We go to the second index, 
there is an employee going from 0 to 1. So in the 0th index in the degree, I will subtract 1 and I will add 1 in the first index, right? Similarly, I need to do it for the next request that is 1 to 2. So here from 1, there is an employee going to 2. So I will reduce 1 in my first building. Then I will add 1 in the second building. Then we have to check the next request that is an employee is going from 2 to 0. So I will add 1 here. Then we pick the next request that is an employee is going from 3 to 4. So I will reduce 1 in my third index and I will add 1 in the fourth index. So here we have done with all the different combinations of subsets which has 6 elements. So here in this case we have only one subset which will be having 6 elements. Now we need to check whether the degree is balanced or not. So here it is not balanced. We have negative 1. So we need to reduce our k. So now we need to form subsets which will be having 5 elements. Right. So we need to form different combinations here. So what are the different combinations we can form which will be having 5 elements here. So initially we can pick 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. This will be a subset. Then we can pick 0, 1, 2, 3 and 5. Right. Then we can form 0, 1, 2, 4 and 5. Then we can have 0, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Then there is another possibility 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Right. That should not be duplicate subsets. We should only consider the unique subsets. Right. So then we need to reset our degree. Then we need to use these subsets to update our degree. Right. After finishing all the combinations, we need to check whether all the elements are set to zero or not. That is, it is balanced or not. So in this case, for k is equal to 5, it will be balanced. So we need to return k as my answer. So we will do it for each and every subset. So I will go to the zeroth index subset. So I will update the degree by reducing 1 in the zeroth building and I will add 1 to the first building. So we need to do each and every element in the subset. So we need to do this for each and every subset, right? So for k is equal to 5, all the elements in the degree will be 0, right? Which means the maximum request that can be achieved is 5. That's all the logic is. Now we will see the code. Before we code, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, please like and subscribe. This will motivate me to upload more videos in future. Now to check out my previous videos and keep supporting guys. So initially we will be writing a for loop where we will assume the maximum achievable request as my length of my request, right? And we will be keep on reducing by one. Then I will be writing another for loop to pick the subsets. So here I'm using combinations in build function. So initially we will specify the range of the values using the length of the request. Then we will specify how many elements I should have in each and every subset. That is k elements, right? Then I will be creating a degree list where it will be containing the list of zeros based on the number of buildings, right? Then we will pick each and every request from the subsets that is from C and we will update the degree based on the employees going from one building to another building, right? Then we need to check whether all the elements in the degrees list are balanced, that is zero or not. If the all the elements are zero, we need to return k. Else, if we can't find, we have to return zero. That's all the code is. Now we will run the code. As you guys see, it's pretty much efficient. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe. This will motivate me to upload more videos in future. Also check out my previous videos. Keep supporting. Happy learning. Cheers guys.